friends, my name is Miss Bolling and I'm so happy you're here today. If this is your first time, welcome to Creation Station. We're excited to have you here with us. And if you've been coming here for a while, I'm so excited you're back because I love learning about God, learning all that He said to us. Did you know that this is a Bible? Did you know that this is how God speaks to us? So the more you read it, the more you study it, the more you know God's Word. Isn't that so cool? So this summer, we've been learning about the armor of God, and I've been so proud of you. You guys learned so much. But before the armor of God, we had studied the whole Old Testament. Do you remember what the Old Testament is? So the Bible is divided in two parts. We have the Old Testament. Hang on, it goes all the way here. So it's bigger. And then we have the New Testament. In the Old Testament, it's all about when, before Jesus was born. In the New Testament, it's all after Jesus was born. So today, we're gonna start with the, the best story, the best story in the Bible. You can, uh, that's my favorite story in the Bible. But before that, we're going to stand up. Come on, stand up everybody. Because it's the beginning of a month and we have a brand new memory verse. Are you ready to learn another memory verse? So we're gonna listen to the song first and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna say and repeat it, okay? All right, stand up, let's do it. God sent his son to be the savior of the world. Whoa, oh, savior of the world. God sent his son to be the savior of the world. Whoa, oh, savior of the world. We saw his son and I'm now telling others about him. By the end of the month, we're gonna know the verse and we're gonna know the dance. So I'm gonna say the verse and I want you to repeat after me, okay? All right, ready? Actually, you can sit down. Let's sit down, everybody. Good job. Now focus so you can learn it. Ready? Here we go. God sent his son to be the savior of the world. We saw his son and are now telling others about him. 1 John 4.14 Very good, that was a great job. So now it's time for our story, our Bible story. And I guess, I know, I bet you already know this story. It is such an important story because the whole Old Testament, all of God's people is just waiting Savior. They know God promised them a Savior. Now they're waiting. And then guess what? In the New Testament, oh, we get our Savior. That's so exciting. Let's watch the story. He's here. Everything was ready. The moment God had been waiting for was here at last. God was coming to help his people just as he promised in the beginning. But how would he come? What would he be like? What would he do? Mountains would have bowed down, seas would have roared, trees would have clapped their hands, but the earth held its breath. As silent as snow falling, he came in, and when no one was looking, in the darkness, he came. There was a young girl who was engaged to a man named Joseph. Joseph was the great great-great-great-great-grandson of King David. One morning, 
This girl was minding her own business when suddenly a great warrior of light appeared, right there in her bedroom. He was Gabriel, and he was an angel, a special messenger from heaven. When she saw the tall, shining man standing there, Mary was frightened. You don't need to be scared, Gabriel said. God is very happy with you. Mary looked around to see if perhaps he was talking to someone else. Mary, Gabriel said, and he laughed with such gladness that Mary's eyes filled with sudden tears. Mary, you're going to have a baby, a little boy. You will call him Jesus. He is God's own son. He's the one. He's the rescuer. The God who flung planets into space and kept them whirling around and around. The God who made the universe with just a word. The one who could do anything at all was making himself small and coming down as a baby. Wait. God was sending a baby to rescue the world? But it's too wonderful, Mary said, and felt her heart beating hard. How can it be true? Is anything too wonderful for God? Gabriel asked. So Mary trusted God more than what her eyes could see, and she believed. I'm God's servant, she said. Whatever God says... I will do. Sure enough, it was just as the angel had said. Nine months later, Mary was almost ready to have her baby. Now, Mary and Joseph had to take a trip to Bethlehem, the town King David was from. But when they reached the little town, they found every room was full. Every bed was taken. Go away, the innkeepers told them. There isn't any place for you. Where would they stay? Soon Mary's baby would come. They couldn't find anywhere except an old, tumbled-down stable. So they stayed where the cows and the donkeys and the horses stayed. And there, in the stable, amongst the chickens and the donkeys and the cows, in the quiet of the night, God gave the world his wonderful gift. The baby that would change the world was born. His baby son. Mary and Joseph wrapped him up to keep him warm. They made a soft bed of straw and used the animal's feeding trough as his cradle. And they gazed in wonder at God's great gift, wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Mary and Joseph named him Jesus, Emmanuel, which means God has come to live with us because, of course, he had. Did you know that story? I bet you did. That's the Christmas story, isn't it? It's Jesus being born. You know, the whole Bible, we've been learning that at the very beginning, with Adam and Eve, in the creation of the world, God promised a Savior. And in today's story, that Savior that people have been waiting for so, 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 so many years, he's here. He is born. But he was not exactly what people expected. They expected a king in a palace, but not Jesus. When Jesus was born, he was born in a manger. He did not have fancy clothes. He was born around animals, but he was the Savior. God doesn't see what we look like outside. He knows our heart. And Jesus was perfect, and He was our Savior. And we're going to keep learning more and more about the life of Jesus and learn about all the miracles He did and the most amazing sacrifice at the very end of His life. I'm so happy you're here. And because of that, I want everybody to stand up again. And we're going to sing together. And let's do it.
God loves us And he gave his only son He is awesome, Jesus Nothing can stop him, he's too strong Yeah, we're singing Jesus is alive, he's alive, oh yeah Everybody celebrate Jesus is Bye, guys.